Never start a road trip with a fight or it'll be the longest, quietest drive ever. Definitely not all right. All right, all right, all right. We're going to LU. I was recruited to play in a band with Bajau, Echo, and Jan Apura. It all happened in a blur. There was no time, no reason to think about it. All I heard was band and beach, and I was in. After completing the required medical tests and permits, we landed in LU. Echo frequently surfed here and managed to book a slot in a mini concert at Ubi's Garden. To end our fight, I apologized to Erika and admitted I was wrong. And proceeded to enjoy the weekend. We met a few friends who were also in town. That singer-songwriter Saris with Erika, dancing and ordering local brews for the sunset hang. There's a reggae band playing nearby, which begs the question, why is it always reggae in our beaches? I love reggae and dub, but surely there's other styles suited to the beach life, like bossa nova, which actually translates to new wave. How about surf rock or ambient metal? Let me know your preferred beach soundtrack in the comments. On the first night, we went to Flotsam for some drinks and music. We caught the funky disco stylings of the house band with Wendell on drums, Francis de Vera on bass, John on guitar, and Mike Luis on keys and vocals. That's our host, Tele Robles, jamming with the band. In the morning, we had breakfast at Clean Beach and went for a swim. Yun lang, medyo masalabay. We walked the Knock Knocks for lunch. Knock this way. More dancing while ordering. They sure miss the club life. Meanwhile, in Ubi's garden, the stage was being set up in an empty pool. While Doc, Amy, and Bajau played pool, and shirtless fools sound checked, keeping it cool. My friend Erwin Romolo was not in town, but he lent me his commuter bike. I pedaled to El Union to meet Kido Cosio. He's going to take me biking. We loaded Irwin's bike in Kido's trusty tuk tuk and went up the hills. Yeah, we'll be going up one of the hills up there and we'll just be some farmlands, some valleys, and then chill ride, country biking lab, countryside biking. This is the Lugtugan. We are greeted by the crackle of dead leaves in our feet and distant videoke from the neighboring hill. Kiddo is riding a regular commuter bike in flip-flops, no helmet. He's a dog chasing a rabbit, rushing through the rolling terrain. It's a playground with the sky, the earth, the grass and dried carabao dung inviting you to ride wild. memories of my childhood when my friends and I rode our BMX bikes up and down the hills of Malasinha in Candelaria. The 
Tuluktugan is flanked by the beach, a river, and the Ifuga mountain range. It's a perfect spot for a music festival. Later, we were joined by Kiddo's lovely wife, Amy, and their kids, Adam, Cadence, Dylan, with their friend, Seth. These kids have no fear. They ride their bikes up, down, and sideways as fast as they could pedal. Good job. Good job. Seb wanted to learn how to bike. I watched him try and fall and get back up. Never quitting. Never giving up. So inspiring. Seb, we should do foot harder. So that you don't fall. Okay, go. Seb, we should do football. This is Rufio, our tour guide. When I came out and finally found my way, I was outside of the fence. <laughs> Sometimes, we don't need special bikes and gear to enjoy a superb ride and hang. Just some cool folks on a hill. I even have a normal version of that. A not evil one. This is the not evil one. He's a farmer and, he's a, and this is his house. Thanks for having me, Kosha fam. I'm rushing back to town to catch the mini concert. Our band is called Party Pace. This is our first gig ever. We have an EP coming out soon. All right. If you'd like to support this channel, buy a shirt through the link in the description.